Hey guys, Gadget Insane here with the HTC Flyer now running Honeycomb uh, 3.0. You might see my previous video where I was showing this same HTC Flyer running uh, Android 2.3 Gingerbread. Uh, that's the version of the OS that gets shipped with the uh, HTC Flyer. And uh, I was able to follow some instructions on the XDA developers forum uh, where a forum member by the name of Globatron was kind enough to uh, to put together some uh, some text on how to uh, get the ROM installed onto the uh, HTC Flyer. Uh, it's worth mentioning that this is actually uh, the released version uh, of Honeycomb from HTC. They just haven't made it officially uh, available to the public yet. So this is not some hacked ROM that I've put onto my device. This is actually uh, the released version of Honeycomb from HTC. What that means is that uh, pen input uh, is still available on this device um, and I know that because I can see settings for the pen so uh, that's still there which is a good thing um, something worth noting is that the hardware buttons which you would normally see when in landscape mode which is normally shown on the bezel here or in portrait mode on this side of the bezel uh, is no longer functional and uh, with good reason uh, that's because uh, that same functionality is now in software. So where there was a home button before, you now have a home button here. And if you notice, when I click on the home button, I'm, I can now uh, choose from one of my five uh, home screens uh, that are available to me. Now I haven't customized my home screens at all, but uh, the default seems to be uh, this kind of stuff here. So you see an empty home screen there. And home screens is just a way to uh, organize your apps and widgets and uh, customize uh, the device to your own liking. Uh, I think I showed you already uh, the settings, but what's cool here, I can just go here and um, all the settings for my device are just right here. Um, all my notifications will also show up on the bottom right here uh, that I can quickly see so I don't have to do any uh, more uh, drag downs uh, to see my notifications. So again, if I had something uh, coming in that needed to notify me of some kind of event, that would show up in the bottom right here. Um, so I kind of like that. The time it shows, you know, my Wi-Fi, how much battery is left and so on. So I think that's pretty cool. The other thing that's pretty nice is if I click my button here, I can now uh, scroll through all the running applications uh, on my uh, device. So if I just want to flip over to my browser, uh, you see here um, the layout of one of my web pages here. And uh, going over uh, to my own website, you'll see uh, my previous walkthrough of the Android 2.3 Gingerbread, as well as some of the other content uh, on my own uh, website. So that's pretty uh, cool as well. Um, I think that's all that's worth mentioning. Um, oh, I shouldn't forget, uh, just because you have Honeycomb installed in HTC Flyer does not necessarily mean that you're going to get access to all the uh, Honeycomb apps. Uh, because of the resolution of the screen, uh, 1024 by 600, some of the apps on the, uh, on the uh, Android Marketplace uh, will not necessarily be compatible or will, or will work uh, on the HTC Flyer. But you do get a refresh uh, interface here. A um, couple last things here. If you click on this button here, this is where you can personalize uh, your display and, and the sounds that your device gives off. And uh, here, if I click on the plus button here, this is where I can get access to all the widgets that I can customize my home screen with. If I go into apps here, let me just get there. These are all the apps available on my device. Again, um, if I want to say put a uh, sound hound. So if I just hold on to that and I just drag it to one of my uh, home screens here and I go back home, you'll now notice that sound hound is uh, showing up there. So anyways, those are some of the quick features of uh, Honeycomb 3.0. Um, on the HTC Flyer, um, it makes it a lot more cleaner. Um, it brings this Flyer in line with, uh, with the majority of other Android tablets out there running Honeycomb, so it's not running a phone OS on a tablet size uh, device. Uh, so that's it for now. Let me know how you feel um, in the comments below. So this is Gadget Insane. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.